No my haere mai, and welcome to my Tuesday prose reading. Today I'm going to read the first two paragraphs of a short story by New Zealand writer Catherine Mansfield. The story, written in 1915, is called Spring Pictures. As you will hear, the story is not set in a New Zealand spring. Spring Pictures by Catherine Mansfield It is raining. Big soft drops splash on the people's hands and cheeks. Immense warm drops like melted stars. Here are roses, here are lilies, here are violets, calls the old hag in the gutter. But the lilies, bunched together in a frill of green, look more like faded cauliflowers. Up and down she drags the creaking barrow. A bad sickly smell comes from it. Nobody wants to buy. You must walk in the middle of the road, for there is no room on the pavement. Every single shop brims over. Every shop shows a tattered frill of soiled lace and dirty ribbon to charm and entice you. There are tables set out with toy cannons and soldiers and zeppelins and photograph frames complete with ogling beauties. There are immense baskets of yellow straw hats piled up like pyramids of pastry and strings of coloured boots and shoes so small that nobody could wear them. One shop is full of little squares of Macintosh, blue ones for girls and pink ones for boys, with Bebe printed in the middle of each. Here are lilies, here are roses, here are pretty violets, warbles the old hag, bumping into another barrow. But this barrow is still. It is heaped with lettuces. Its owner, a fat old woman, sprawls across, fast asleep, her nose in the lettuce root. Who is ever going to buy anything here? The sellers are women. They sit on little canvas stools, dreamy and vacant looking. Now and again, one of them gets up and takes a feather duster, like a smoky torch, and flicks it over a thing or two, and then sits down again. Even the old man in tangerine spectacles, with a balloon of a belly, who turns the revolving stand of comic postcards round and round, cannot decide. I hope you've enjoyed the reading today, and I look forward to being with you again next Tuesday. Bye for now.